welcome we will discuss cartesian and polar coordinate system cartesian system and polar coordinate system first of all you know what is a cartesian coordinate and what is a polar coordinate and what are their uses it is if we want to locate the position of a point on a plane how to locate it these are two different methods of locating those let us say one method is we are drawing two mutually perpendicular lines with the help of these two lines we will locate the position of a point this line is known as x coordinate and as you know this line is known as y coordinate and this is known this point is known as origin this is our x axis and this is known as y axis suppose if a point is here so what we will say where is the point we can draw a perpendicular line here and i draw a perpendicular line here let this point be p let this one be n this one be n and this point we can give a name o then we can measure the distance queen and measure the distance ray we can say p is at a distance of o measured along x axis and at a distance of o measured parallel to y axis then we are representing p suppose we are representing a x y what it means that this o m equals to x and p n that is equals to o m this is equals to y in this way we can represent a point in a cartesian coordinate system that means if you start from origin move along a distance x along that x axis move a distance x along x axis you will reach the point t then move distance y parallel to y axis and then you will reach p so in this way we are locating the position of a point and this system is known as cartesian coordinate system more perfectly it is known as rectangular cartesian coordinate system but this is not the only system there is another method called polar coordinate what is that in that what we are doing we are taking any line let us as in i am showing here we are taking any line and a point this point is known as pole and the line is known as initial line with the help of only this point a point pole and an initial line we are measuring a point suppose a point p is there we are drawing joining this one we are measuring this distance only r and let us assume this is angle is theta we are measuring that r is the distance from pole and it is making an angle theta with the initial line then this is known as arc theta this system is known as polar coordinate system in this system also we have no difficulty in locating the point p that reach a pole move a distance r making an angle theta with the initial line you will reach the required point now we will try to establish a relation between cartesian coordinate system and polar coordinate system let us assume the same point p this same point p if we are saying 
in polar coordinate it is this distance we can say as r and this angle as theta here this origin is considered as the pole x axis is considered as the initial line then the coordinate of this one becomes r theta now what is the relationship between this so what we can say from here we are knowing sin theta equals to perpendicular by hypotenuse that means here y by r from here we can say y equals to r sin theta you are also knowing cos theta equals to base by hypotenuse this is base this is hypotenuse so you can say it is cos theta equals to x by r or x equals to r cos theta then in tan theta equals to perpendicular by base so equals to y by x and again from pythagoras theorem you are knowing r square equals to x square plus y square so what you have to remember these are the four relations y equals to r sin theta x equals to r cos theta tan theta equals to y by x r square equals to x square plus y square you have x y are the cartesian coordinates x is known as abscissa y is known as ordinate and r theta is the polar coordinate where r is <coughs> known as the radius vector and theta is the vectorial angle so this is the relationship between cartesian and polar coordinate if you are knowing any one if you are knowing theta and r you can find x you can find y so we can get the cartesian coordinates and if you are knowing x y then you can find r from here by using x y you can find r then you can find cos theta sin theta and correspondingly you can find theta so this is the relationship between cartesian and polar coordinates and you can easily able to exchange from one system to another system thank you